Thank you for joining us tonight. More than 100 workers in Pickens County will be losing their jobs at the end of the week, and area residents are losing a health care resource. The Pickens County Medical Center is shutting down this Friday. In a release this morning, the medical center says its financial condition has become, quote, unsustainable. WCBI's Bobby Martinez visited the hospital today. He has more on what this means to employees and the health of the community. He joins us in the studio with that story. It was an emotional Monday for dozens of workers at Pickens County Medical Center. They learned the news of the closing just this morning, leaving many of them with uncertain futures. This is the first time that I have ever actually heard the words that we are closing. Shocked and heartbroken. That's how many workers at the Pickens County Medical Center are feeling. Today, they were told the hospital will be shutting its doors by the end of the week. In a release sent out by the hospital, they say, for our staff members, we will be working with other employers to facilitate access to potential employment opportunities. Mary Walker has worked at Pickens County Medical for 40 years. She says when she left home Friday for the weekend, no one was aware the hospital was closing. The employees were not kept informed, so we knew nothing. So it just breaks my heart for this place to close. Walker says a few months ago, another facility made an offer that would have kept Pickens County open. Walker says the hospital decided to go in another direction. They felt like it wasn't a good opportunity to do that, that we could make it on our own. And I think that was a grave mistake. You know, I think that was a grave mistake because they were willing to put doctors in here. They were willing to put surgeons in here. The things that we needed in our, to keep our hospital open, and they did not go with it and they did not consult the employees to see what they wanted. So, yes, I'm upset with them. Tanya Bryant says the closing affects more than just employees. It's going to be a blow to the community. It's, it's really going to hurt. It's going to have a big impact on the community, great impact. And um, that's one of my greatest fears is that, you know, people that we could possibly save might not make it. A lot of people have bad things to say about this hospital, but since I've been working here this short period of time, I just seen a lot of lives got saved. Emotions were also high for Carrollton Mayor Mickey Walker. Sadness. Just sadness. And it seems like it's so dear to your heart, like it really. Well, it, it does. If it um, if that, if that don't affect your heart, you ain't got a heartbeat. Cause this, all, all the people up here would know the people that work there, and um, my heart goes out to them. Walker says the county's economic health would also be taking a hit. We're losing approximately 130 jobs. And we just wish somebody would have, from the, from the state, from Washington, or somebody would have stepped up to help get this thing resolved. Um, it's just going to be devastating. We've got so many family members. i got a daughter that works there. 